Hello and welcome back. This is video number one, which is the introduction. So what I want to do right now is to give you a quick overview of what's inside this video course. That way you're going to get a bird's eye view of the whole course as a whole. This is video number one, which is the introduction. Video number two, we'll talk about themes because the design and the look is really important, especially to the customer especially how you lay things out and all that. So we're going to show you where to go to get access to WooCommerce themes that are already pre-made for you. That way you don't have to create it from scratch or hire anyone to create it from scratch. And you can simply purchase it, download it, upload it, and you're good to go. Video number three, we'll talk about the general settings within WooCommerce and then exactly how to tweak them, how to customize them, and all of that. Video number four, we'll talk about the product settings overview, which are the products, how to create a product, how to edit a product, how to customize a product. Once you've created your products, you want to make sure that you organize them because you never know if you will add more in the future. And especially if you start creating 10, 20, 30 or more, it can become very disorganized. So you want to make sure that you create an organized system. So we'll teach you how to organize things and how to utilize the options with built into WooCommerce to organize your products so that it makes it easier, not only for you to find for also your customer to find as well. Video number six, we'll talk about the product attributes. Product attributes are basically like if you were to buy a skateboard and you want it in green, blue, purple, different colors, maybe different shapes, different wheels. That is what we call product attributes. And of course, in video number seven, we'll talk about expansion. What we mean by that is how do you go beyond the core foundation? Let's say, for example, that you want to run subscriptions or you want to expand on that. You want to do marketing. You want to install uh, different aspects beyond just the basics. So how do you go about doing that? Video number eight, we'll talk about how to automate tedious WooCommerce tasks. Let's say for example, that after somebody purchases an item, you want to add them to a Google spreadsheet or add them to your list, or you want to do something very specific that takes a lot of time, something that you can't really be there 24 seven to actually do. So in other words, once you have set up these automations, then it's going to make your life a lot easier. The more you automate, the more you can actually focus on marketing your store, getting people to your store and focus on other things. Okay, so what I want to talk about right now is what you need before you can get started. So before we even dive into the video course, you are going to need these things. So obviously you're going to need a website with WordPress already installed. Now, in terms of where you need to figure out if you want your store located on a subdomain, such as store.yourdomain.com, or maybe you want to to be located within a subfolder such as yourdomain.com slash store or within the main site. So those are things that you need to figure out before you watch this video course. Now, obviously you can watch the video course and then go back and implement that as well. But the main thought process is where do you want to install? So most people just installed WooCommerce wherever their WordPress site is located. So if that's the case, you don't really need to worry about that. I just wanted to mention that as an option because uh, that way you can segment your main site and your store if you choose to do so. But otherwise, if you don't really care, you can install it wherever your WordPress is installed. Now, there's a lot of courses, there's a lot of videos out there on the basics of WordPress. You can find a lot on YouTube or other platforms as well. And sometimes you can find them for free on the basics of installing WordPress. And sometimes you can get your web hosting company to do that for you as well. Once you have figured that out, the next step is why. So why are you creating your store? You need to understand the purpose 
and the goal behind your site. Is it to make a certain amount of money? Is it to, obviously everyone wants to make money, but is it to impact a certain amount of people? Or is it to sell, let's say you have a warehouse and you have a hundred skateboards or a hundred uh, of something and you want to get rid of that. So what is the purpose? You want to write that down because you want to figure out in months time after you set up your WooCommerce site, if you've actually reached those goals. So this is kind of a little bit of goal setting, but you really need to figure that out before you actually start your site. Because as you start your store, you can begin to implement things that will actually help build upon that and help you reach that goal, if that makes sense. And of course, the what. What covers an idea or mind map of how you want your site to look like and of course to work together. So basically you want to connect the dots, figure out what your site needs to do. There are many different mind map softwares out there. You can go to Google, type in you know, free mind map software or mind map software or flowchart software, uh, whatever you want to do. We like lucidchart.com. That's another good option. It does cost a little bit of money, but it's a really good tool to organize your thoughts. So what I'm getting at here is there's a lot of thoughts in your head that you just need to get down on paper. All right. So last but not least, the how is this video course. So now that you have a good idea of what you need before you can actually implement WooCommerce, let's jump in and talk about WooCommerce themes.